Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to another episode. Welcome to another episode of Gamecocks Talk with Captain Will. I'm your man, Captain Will. Make sure you like, make sure you share, make sure you subscribe to Gamecocks Talk with Captain Will so I can continue to bring you that gospel of Gamecocks every single day. Every single day, y'all. Uh, I want to thank everyone for tuning in. I want to thank, thank everyone for the love. Thank everyone um, for, for watching the program. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you. Um, if you want to become a member, go to the YouTube channel. Go to my homepage. Click join now. Follow the instructions, and you're there. Follow me on Twitter at Gamecocks Talk. Follow me on Instagram at Gamecock Talk with Captain Will. And wherever you get your podcast, you can find your man, Captain Will. Shout out to my man, Doc, making this half for me. So fly. Mike, see it in Vegas. Don't know. We will see. We got a good one today, y'all. We have a good one today, y'all. We are five days away from playing the Michigan Wolverines women's basketball team. It is going down. Vegas is almost here. The season, for real, for real, is ready to start. It's some wonderful basketball games that's going to be happening on Monday. But the game that we all want to see, the game that we have the most skin in the game, is going down 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, 4.30 for the folks who are going to be in Vegas against Michigan. And we're going to talk about three different, three early things about the Michigan women's basketball team. Three early things about the Michigan women's basketball team. First off, first off, they're a solid basketball team. Let's, let's be clear. They are a, they, they, they are a good basketball team. I'm going to say they're solid. They are a good basketball team. This is not a, a pushover game, you know, and it's, it's awesome that it's going to be highlighted on uh fox and and you're gonna have the 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 the, the amazing broadcast crew and hopefully some celebrities will be there and chop it up with your man captain will and but this is great for women's basketball now last year in the same space lsu played colorado and lost they were number one as well shook up the whole country when that happened michigan is coming to 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 vegas to do the same thing. They want to shake up the world and no better place than in front of a national audience on a big stage at the T-Mobile arena and beating the, the, the South Carolina women's basketball team, the three-time, three-time, three-time national champions. That would be earth shaking if that were to happen. Michigan finished 20 and 14 last season. They made the tournament last season. Okay. They were nine and nine in the conference. They finished top 50 in net ranking. We have to, for this upcoming season, we got to retrain our brains. We got to actually think about a couple of things. Okay. A net ranking versus AP poll. Okay. I, I've said for, as long as I had this show, I don't. I, I despise the AP poll. It, it's, it's stupid. Don't make sense. I, I don't. I don't care. It's for it's for TV ratings. It's, it's silly. It's silly. Net ranking is what actually tells you as a viewer what teams are actually really good. That's what tells the teams tells you as a viewer that you're really good. If you have a team, you talking about top thirty, top twenty five net ranking, they real really good. Okay. Forget the AP poll. And in terms of now, where we're going into the quad system. The, the men's basketball has been into the quad system for some time now. The women's basketball is through the quad system as well. So for the ones who don't know, here's what the quad system is. So as everything is broken up into quadrants, quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, quadrant four. Quadrant one basically means net rankings, uh, the top level teams are in, in quadrant one. OK, depicted by their net ranking. No RPI, none of that stuff. No AP poll, ain't no coaches poll, none of that stuff. You get points. You 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 when we actually deciding the, 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 the team of 64. You will get uh, uh, points. You, things will be weighed differently according to your quadrant wins. 
quadrant wins and 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 you know uh scoring margin where the games are strength of schedule of the opponent net ranking of the opponent so now you will be in a situation where you are awarded for playing top level teams and the teams that try to skate by having 150 ranks uh, strength of schedule are penalized so a team like Michigan is going to be good for our net ranking by starting the season like it is. You know, and Michigan's net ranking last year was 48. They strength of schedule was 41. They played in the Big Ten, 9-9 nine and nine in the conference. They had some, some, some good wins over the season. They beat Illinois. They beat Ohio State, who was at the time ninth in net ranking. They beat Maryland. We know all about the Maryland Terrapins from, from last year. They meet Maryland. They beat Penn State. They beat Nebraska. All these teams was top 30 in the country in net ranking. They uh, beat Michigan State. They beat Indiana in the uh, Big Ten quarterfinals. They lost to Kansas in the first round of the NCAA tournament, okay? And Kansas finished at 38th in the country. Michigan is a good basketball team. We, we, we can't underscore that. We're, I don't want to come with the notion that we, when we arrive in Vegas that they're just going to lay down and let us you know, beat them up and, 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 and we're going to go back into to, to the um, – casinos and turn up and all that stuff which we will don't let's be clear we have to be clear about that but they are coming to win this basketball game officer rating michigan 65th in the country this was last season 65th in the country in terms of officer rating where they struggled last year was in defense at 171st 171st in defensive rating where last season, Carolina was third in the country in offensive rating. Okay. Um, this this uh, team by South Carolina offensively is dynamic, it's scary, it's versatile. It's, it's so many different words that I can't even come in my brain right now because of my fly hat. But that's going to be a problem. They haven't in, in, in improved on, their, on the defensive end. Carolina going to score 100 points. It is going to be a problem for them to, to stop Carolina from scoring. It's just going to be a problem. Three-point attempts. There was 170th in three-point attempts last season. Their head coach said they need to shoot more three-pointers. They played in the exhibition game. They shot what, what, 35 three-pointers. Okay, they are going to make a a, uh, a cognitive effort to shoot threes against us. Now, Carolina, in defending the three last season, we always, you know, in the top 10 in defensive um, three-point percentage allowed, always. So we defend the three. They got to make the three. And they, if they, I mean... <laughs> How can I say if they hit if they shoot a whole bunch of three pointers or three point attempts and they don't hit forty percent from the three and their uh, uh, lack of rebounding on the offensive end or or defensive rebounding uh, it, it, it's not going to be pretty for them. It's not going to be pretty. And another metric to watch it, maybe it's the Big Ten way that you know. Uh, they pace of play is slow. They had the 196 ranked pace of play. They're gonna slow ball. They're gonna slow ball it. They they are. They're gonna uh, try to work clock, if you will. Carolina, 38th last year. I think we're gonna play faster this year. I think they're gonna play faster this year. Michigan is gonna try to keep the score lower. Slow down the pace, shoot threes, hopefully rebound the basketball. Last season, they were seventh in offensive rebounding. 
that number can't be on Monday. We cannot have a situation where Michigan is doing well on the offensive boards. Things look different now with Carolina, with Camila Cardoza's gone, with Ashton Watkins, you know, suspended. Things are different. But I believe things will remain the same. We have to be dominant on the boards and get as many defensive rebounds as we can. Assist percentage, not well, not great. 187th in the country. Not well. Steal percentage, not good at all. Block percentage, not good at all. Those are key aspects of what we actually do very, very, very well. Michigan is a good basketball team, but there's is is is, is levels to this. And and, and I, I believe that they about to reach the top level playing against South Carolina. And there has been a few changes in the Michigan roster. That brings me to point number two. Their leading scorer transferred to Texas. Layla Philia is gone. She transferred to Texas and made Texas stronger, but then Sue also made Michigan weaker. She was the one playing 35 minutes per game. She was the one averaged 19 points. She was the one averaged four rebounds, two assists. She's gone. Those minutes, you got to replace that leadership. She's a senior now. But what Michigan did do, they went to the lab with a pen and a pad, and they knew that she's going to be leaving. And they had a few other players that actually transferred out too. That's college basketball. But they they actually had the number four ranked recruiting class during the class of 2024. Okay, one of those players in um, Olivia Olson. Top 12, top 15. I saw her play in Unarmored Elite 24 last year with my own eyes. Big guard. Special. When I was doing my little notes, and I'm just out last year, I was just starting to show out. Doing my little notes. I'm like, yo, this girl is special. This that was it. Special. She's nice. She is nice. She's a nice player. She has a really good size. She can shoot the rock. She is so fundamentally sound. She's tough. She's tough. That's another note I put out. I said she's tough. She, she, she is a baller. She can space the floor. She can post up. She can do multiple things on the floor. She's a really good basketball player. And the uh, other player, Silas Swords, is from Canada. Another big guard. They, they get size at the guard position. And let's be clear. They have good size at the guard position. Now, and they're very young at the guard position. But Silas Swords, Olivia Olsen, both are three-level players. Both are players that are very smart, have all the intangibles, space the floor, um, versatility, all those great things that you want in a basketball player. When they played in that exhibition game, they started three freshmen. Three freshmen. There's going to be a lot of growth over the course of the season, and this is perfect for them playing South Carolina because they are going to learn. They're going to have a master class ran on them on Monday. And it's only going to help them by playing Carolina. A lot of teams didn't want to play South Carolina the first game of the season. Michigan stepped up to the plate and it's going to help their net rating. It's going to help their, their uh, uh, quad rankings. It's going to help all those great things in the future. In the future, Michigan is a good basketball team and it, it, basketball is here we are ready for it and i just can't wait for it to happen i just can't wait for it to happen this includes another episode of game cox talk with captain will i'm your man captain will make sure you like make sure you share make sure you subscribe to game cox talk with captain will so i continue to bring you that gospel of game cox every single day you're now rocking with the best and since you're rocking with the best come right with your man captain